Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... Hey viewers, Dave here for Snappy Turtle Comics and Gallery. Snappy Turtle Gallery is your go-to destination for geeky, nerdy prints, and each is just $5. With over 600 prints and growing, you're sure to find something you'll love. Go to SnappyTurtleGallery.com today and get yours. I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at MetalheadMinis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at MetalheadMinis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. Hey Kickstarter, uh, my name is Jared Cook and my fiance's name is Michaela Holton. Um, she's the one who's got her name on, you know, the the Kickstarter page. But uh, basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create a game called Nightfall, and Nightfall is going to be based in you know Game of Thrones, Westeros, and uh, it's it's going to be simple because of the funding. No, even if I get you know two million dollars, it's gonna every penny of it's gonna be going towards this game, and it's gonna be similar to PUBG, to where you know you drop in on a map, and you basically scavenge for your weapons and armor and everything else, and you're gonna fight to the death, you know, fat, fight to the last man standing, basically. Uh, the name of the company is Most Honorable Games. You, you know, uh, we put a lot of you know a lot of thought and work and hours into you know getting everything set up to where all we need is to post this Kickstarter and once it's funded get to it. If you pledge whatever reward it says you're gonna get, you're gonna receive. Um, you can get a refund within the first year. We're gonna post a blog and it's gonna be three out of seven days a week you're gonna get a video and as soon as it's funded we're gonna send the link to everybody and this link is gonna give you access to our channel to where you can, you know, she's going to be recording me and how, you know, the, where the game progress is. And it's actually, she's going to be, you know, recording my private life to where you guys can see what I'm actually doing to get the game done. As soon as it's funded, I'm, you know, going to have an office here in Savannah and we're going to start hiring staff. Uh, we're going to have one to three project managers, uh, six to seven team leads, two to four gameplay engineers. Uh, between two and four back-end developers, two to three character designers, two or four, two to four level designers, four to five animators, four to six play area designers, and we're gonna have two to three for uh, VFX support, and at least two audio support tech, and uh, maybe a few freelancers. But as far as you know, if you pledge, 
just know that your money is you're, you're gonna get with whatever this game is gonna be completed whether it's you know a, a year and a half or two years from now it's gonna be a top quality game we're gonna be using Unreal 4 just like them and Divix uh, VOIP for the voiceover IP and we're also gonna be using Battle Eyes same as them even though they have you know multiple anti-cheats we're gonna have Battle Eyes that I know for sure I don't know if we're gonna develop our own and you know go with it like that or if I'm gonna call them and see if you know we can't you know bum off their uh, anti-cheat and see if they have one that they could recommend I have really high expectations for this game as soon as it's funded uh, we're getting to work and we're not stopping until it's finished and um, after that I'm gonna be creating uh, my original idea which I soon found out that uh, my original idea was unrealistic because it would have taken hundreds of millions of dollars to create, same as Red Dead Redemption, but I'm wanting to create an open world uh, role playing game, just like kind of like Red Dead Redemption, but it's going to be Game of Thrones themed. I have Macy Williams, you know, one of her signed pictures here uh, from whenever, you know, season seven and uh, much more, but it's in the living room. We have banners hanging all throughout the house. Uh, actually, I have this keyboard mouse pad that uh, I bought online and it's you know all the characters from the all the main characters from the beginning of season eight I've set my goal of 500,000 and that's kind of low on the you know as far as getting the game created but it can be done so hopefully you guys you know one don't stop at the goal just keep on pledging and hopefully we'll be able to get this game underway and get it created. I know I'm going to be hiring 30 employees that I know of, uh, possibly more. So um, to get them paid, even in the first year, that's going to take at least you know 500,000. I'm just going to be using the money that I make off of Nightfall to make the game that I originally wanted to make, and that's what I'm ultimately aiming for. Yeah, I hope you guys you know pledge it out. And, help me get this created because I know it's something I've been looking forward to for a long time now. Other Game of Thrones fans, they've been wondering the same thing. Uh, you know, when, when's there going to be a decent console game out there and this is going to be it guys. So just, you know, pledge and I'm going to make sure this thing gets done and hopefully everybody's happy. Greetings everyone. It is Dave from Gamers on Games again. I'm using a text-to-speech synthesizer because I recently had oral work done and my jaw isn't up to snuff to where I feel comfortable enough recording myself for the channel. Thank you for bearing with me while I'm recovering. So as you just saw, this is the latest and ill-conceived attempts at cashing in on the Game of Thrones IP. This Kickstarter comes on the heels of Daniel's Game of Thrones card game attempts, including his assorted mobile game attempts. So what makes this worthy of note? While the Kickstarter feels suspicious, it is unclear whether it is laughable due to its obvious attempts to cash in, or that it is claiming to have a plan while showing little to no evidence of such. The spokesperson for this project claims that it is in fact the girlfriend's project, not his. I am well aware that not everyone functions well in front of a camera. I've seen this firsthand on a number of Kickstarters that we've highlighted over the years, and have seen it in a few projects launched by people personally close to me. Not everyone can pitch for themselves, heck, I even have this problem, as I'm great at talking up other people, but am truly abysmal at hyping myself, my games, or my channel dot 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 but that is neither here nor there. The other glaring issue with this Kickstarter is that the guy pitching has no evidence of work done on this game before the Kickstarter was launched. He says everything is well figured out dot 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 except for number of employees, production time, past experience, really anything to help boost confidence in the project. There is no concept art either. Not even a rudimentary quote demonstration unquote of character models moving about. The video is beyond unpolished, sounding like it was figured out about 5 minutes before recording started, and so much focus is spent on covering how much they love Game of Thrones, rather than what to expect out of this Kickstarter, or what'll be required to start and successfully complete this project. 
thankfully, he's covered what'll happen if they can't acquire the license to make a Game of Thrones branded game, but it feels so tacked on, it strikes me as afterthought. If you have an alternate plan regarding what to do should licensing fall apart, why not skip right to that option, just make it all your world. Well, I bought my ticket to the show. If you're curious about all this, and you missed Daniel Perez's Game of Thrones card game Kickstarters, I recommend you spend the dollar to catch the show, rather than miss what seems to be new fad. Well, I'm exhausted and I need to focus on sleep and recovery, so I'm going to leave this here as is. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.